Several parts of Australia have been facing floods, with the rains sweeping away homes, cattle and roads in the worst downpour in 60 years. Luckily, no deaths have occurred, but 18,000 people have been evacuated with another 15,000 expected to be evaluated soon. The Waragama Dam in Sydney has been overflowing with creating many dangerous situations. Last year, Australia in fact was facing a water crisis and drought, with the dam falling below half the water level. So you see, iGraspers, climate change is a real threat. We must be ready to combat by going greener. This year, for the fourth year in a row, Finland was named the happiest nation, even amidst the coronavirus pandemic rocking the world. This year, of course, made collecting the data for the report a lot harder. But one of the main criteria for judgment was the amount of trust people place in their fellow citizens and in the governments of the countries that they live in. The reporter said that this trust was one of the primary reasons Finland was number one again. India, however, ranked quite poorly on the list, 139th out of 149 countries. To fix this, I graspers, we must surely be better and kinder to our fellow citizens. Famous Canadian hotel situated in Quebec City installed a beautiful ice statue of Mahatma Gandhi months before India celebrates its 75th Independence Day. Hotel named Hotel de Glass got the 7 feet tall ice statue mounted and created on Friday by an artist named Mark Lipayo who is a prominent ice sculptor in Quebec City. The pictures of the divine statue were posted on Twitter by the Indian consulate situated in Toronto.